Good morning. Got a couple people coming on. Um, we're going to start out here. Welcome back, everybody. I know it's been a little while since we did one of these, but um, we're going to do them very similar to how we've done them in the past. Um, repetition and consistency. You're going to hear it over and over and over again. So we're going to start out this morning with spry. Um, a little bit later start this morning than normal. Um, I'm going to take her out. She's going to go to the bathroom quick for us. Good girl. And then we're going to work on a quick little recall in. So April's in. Good morning, April. Becky's in. Nicole's in. Um, let's see. Now, I'm going to let her run around a little bit because she might have to. This is usually about the time that she goes to the bathroom uh, more than just pee. So I'm going to give her a chance. Um, she hasn't eaten yet this morning. So we're going to do that. Um, she And then I'm going to work on So I'm going to start out right away. Good morning, Jose, Kaylee, Robin. Welcome all you guys. I'm not going to allow her to do this. Come on, 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 no, 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 come on. No, you can see she's got a decision to make. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Now she really wants a drink. That's what it is. She's found out that there's this little open spot of water. Come on, let's go, let's go, let's go, come on, come on. No, 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 no. You can see she's licking the snow. She's resisting the temptation to the pot to the open water which is good i'm not worried about the open water it's more i don't want her dilly dallying i want her to come come on let's go come on let's go again i'm gonna get into this habit come on let's go come on no 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 now we get into this little pup that all of a sudden for a week straight she did really well on recall especially when it's feeding time I and mean, it's feeding time right now so why isn't she doing well i don't know why but I'm gonna make sure that we don't form the wrong habit. I'm gonna to try to reverse it back to what I want. So I'm gonna get her to, come on, come on, let's go. You can totally see her, no. Come here, come on, come on, good girl, very good. So I got three little steps out of her and she got to me and I tell her how good she is. Come on, let's go, come on, let's go, come on, come on, come on, good, very good. I'm not gonna make her come all the way to the house. I'm just gonna get two, three steps. I'm gonna pick her up. I'm gonna carry a little bit. I'm gonna set her back down. I'm gonna get back into that. Come on, let's go. No, 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 no. See? No. Come on. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. Wasn't enough. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's into my bird seed. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Let's go. You can see she's just running a lot of stuff through her head right now. I'm going, what's better? Play with the bird seed or come with dad? Come on, let's go. Come on, let's go. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come on. 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 Let's go. Come here. I can see right now she's pretty thirsty. So she's going to get fed and she's going to get water with her food. I'm definitely not going to chase her. Just not gonna chase her. Come on. It's kind of warm out, Steph. It's no. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, very good. Okay, so that was an important one. Steph, how are you watching anyway? Steph's in an airport somewhere. Okay. So I think what was interesting there was a couple things. You saw. She's got plenty of energy this morning. Renee is in, Krista's in, Robin, Jose. Dog bones, that's not me, that's Steph. So you can see a few things there. Um, she was definitely a little bit, a little bit tough on me there this morning on the recall, right? So since the Ponds melted, our ponds all melted last week, or they, a lot of them melted. Since they melted and our sump pump started working again, because the line unfroze, we had a little open spot in that pond and you could see that she found it. So she knows, well, there's a fresh drink there. So she has gone out to it a couple times now and drank out of it. She does it at night a lot. Good morning, Melissa. So what I don't want is her 
finding, no, now she knows there's a little water spot there. I don't want her going and just doing free drinks all the time on me. I don't want her being so tempted by the water that she doesn't come when I call her. So you could see that created a little bit of an issue this morning for me. We got through it, and I thought what was really interesting was in the very end there. Um, I went up to her, and I just asked her to come to me. Um, Taylor, I'm going to have you move. Come on. Come on. Go in your place. So I had that little pup. Now I'm going to start it out a little different. You guys know my routine. So does my dog. So it's time for me to start changing this. So sit. Sit. There, that's it. Look at her eyes this morning. You know, what I like about that? Come here, sit. No, no, no. First off, she's getting so big, she's gonna jump right. No, I'm not gonna allow that jumping up like that. So she's no, 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 no. Look who's decided to go. I'm really sorry, Dad. Well, she doesn't know. I've never corrected her for no. I've never corrected her for jumping before. So today. The culture of jumping on the fence is changing. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Very good. No. Good. Good. So I'm going to tell her, you know what? You're all right. But jumping up on the fence? Not anymore. So we've been <clears throat> inconsistent. I'm not going to say we've been inconsistent. We've just decided that's not something I was... Good morning, Nicole. Good morning, Mark. Um, Jeff is in. Good morning, Jeff. Coming in. Had a phone call coming. Um, so I'm going to spin this around. I'm going to put it on here while I explain this for a second. So for the past... <clears throat> we've been doing this now for several weeks. So we're. <laughs> it's not a coincidence that we sit at 30. Right now, it's probably a very... Uh, core group that is here. I'm going to ask my core group to help me grow this and share the heck out of it. Um, I think anyone who has a dog, regardless of age, puppy or not, is going to get something out of this. I have a couple questions that came up here recently. You can see the excitement. Wow, we're just wound up here. So, guess who gets to eat right now? Not her. Not with this. She's going to have to change before we get going. You guys know that. So this is interesting because normally the routine has been what? come out of the pen or come out of the crate and then we get right into feeding or into our drills and then our feeding. And today, much like, uh, very similar to how I did it at the end of last week, uh, we put her on place this time. So she has to settle down on place before we even get going. So she's learning, I'm changing it up a little bit. I'm adding different layers. I'm making her realize behavior has to remain the same regardless of the order we do things in. So whether it be location, or it's the order I'm doing stuff in, doesn't matter. She's gonna have, her, her behavior that I'm looking for on a bed is what? Settle in, be calm, be quiet, don't fuss. So whether I do it before or after feeding, doesn't matter anymore. The behavior has to be consistent. So we're gonna mix it up and we're gonna practice that. So we're practicing to be consistent by being inconsistent in our routine, okay? Don't start out that way. I'm four weeks or five, going on five weeks into it now. That's why I'm able to start mixing it up. So if you guys are new to this and doing this stuff for the first time, be very consistent. Do the exact same things until you find success. Once you have success, then you start thinking about mixing it up and repeating the behavior in a different order. So that's important. But back to what I thought was interesting about our recall this morning. Pup went outside, dilly dallied around. I made a couple, re I made a couple um, recalls successfully. And those recalls were successfully, success like two to three steps, okay? I only got her to come two to three steps. Now I'm gonna start building my wall here this morning. Um, any of you guys that have been with us for a while know what the wall is about. It's not politics. Instead, it's about containment. So, I start building my wall here. Taylor, you're gonna have to give up your spot for me, bud. Come on, come here. Said, man, you just told me to get here. So here's the second part of the wall. All this stuff is things that I'm going to be doing in the meantime here. And this pup has to settle in through them all. So I paid no attention to her. Her food's already been prepped. I got that going. I reset up the tripod so we can get the tripod going. I'm going to work on 
Um, the same drill, relatively the same drill or routine. Uh, good morning, Stephanie. Chris, good morning. Um, I'm gonna work relatively the same routine that I have been doing, and I'm gonna see how we do today after a couple days off of it. Now we didn't really change, we didn't change our routine so much. Um, what we did was we changed our location. We did a lot of the same things. We were in Minnesota this past weekend. I don't know if some of you guys saw our, our live in Minnesota. Um, we were over there at Cabela's. It was a great time. Met some awesome people. Met a lot of people actually that were following along on here. So some of you might be following along right now. Morning, Jason Perryman. He joined in. Jeff Trudell's in. Uh, Jeff got a delivery of a tripod coming today. Should be fun filming. I had a chance to watch April Marie's uh, videos and get some comments back to her on it. Uh, we'll talk on that. I think that was phenomenal. Um, so we're doing, I'm coming back today and doing the same routine and I'm gonna see how this little dog does after three, four days of doing it in different spots. We're back to it. So eventually this week, I'd like to, t I'd like to break down the wall. I'd like to have the wall be down and I'd like to get the same result out of her in an open house as opposed to just an open kitchen and laundry room. But I did see some success in Cabela's. If you guys watched the Cabela's, I got a lot of the stuff we've been working on to happen with relative success, I thought, in an open conference room with a whole bunch of people and a lot of distractions. And so I was really excited about that. Told me that, uh, told me that we are, we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere with forming habits that are sticking regardless of our environment. So that's my intro to this. Now, back to outside. Two or three times I had her recall about two or three steps and I praised her. I didn't make her run across the yard. I just wanted her to get her coming in my direction. We had success with that. And then I got into a little bit of a hiccup where she wanted to get under the bird seed and do some stuff there. She was more distracted about that than she was coming by me. So I bumped the wrong button there and I got into a voice mail, so I apologize for that. But I, what I ended up doing was I got her to come to me by completely abandoning her. So I want you to maybe pay, pay attention to that. So you could see I kind of dilly-dallied with her and I, I, you could just read her body language. She had, a lot of, she had a lot of choices to make. One of her choices was come by me, which is what I wanted. Another choice was to play with that little strap on that pole. Another choice was to play where the birds were eating. Another choice was to go by the pond. Another choice was to turn around and head north into the field. So she had all these different options and I kind of was trying to entice her to make the right decision without physically going and getting her. And what really put her over the top was me turning around and just saying, see ya. And I headed back to the house. And as soon as I headed back to the house, she went, oh, wait a minute. That's not quite what I was looking for. I better get, I better get on my horse and ride here. So she started coming. Now this, boy, we're not doing anything until this goes away. So we come back from a long weekend on the road. I'm looking to get back into how consistent can she be with what we're looking for and right now we've taken some apparent steps backwards as far as those now I, i'm not worried about it i'm not panicking at all about it we'll get there when we get there um i'm not going to allow her to move forward until she changes because this is not a behavior that i'm rewarding not interested in a puppy that decides that it's time to eat and we're going to eat now no Molasses when she wants to go fast, speed it up when she wants to slow down. She wants to eat, we'll wait. She wants to yip and bark and fuss, you might be here a while. So now, if, because I'm doing this live, you guys are stuck with it. I, trust me, I, I wouldn't, uh, I would be way more productive than this if I wasn't live, because I'd be sitting right there on my computer and I'd be working. I'd be doing emails, I'd be catching up on some of the messages that I got. That's another thing I should touch on. First off, I love the participation we're getting right now. Um, so I think, that my, my, um, before I jump off of that again, because I really jump around, and I'm jumping around a lot this morning. But before I get, uh, another cup of coffee, right? Uh, before I get into that, um, I want you guys to understand that you might say, I don't have an hour a day to do this. You take an hour, because we talked about that this weekend at Cabela's. And I said, I don't want people to think that this takes that long, because it doesn't, it shouldn't. It takes me longer because I'm doing it live and I'm trying to um, show it to you guys and I'm explaining a lot of it. And it just I'm doing it much, much differently by trying to document it than I would if it were just me and the dog. 
things would progress. First off, things would go faster because I think I'd have better focus with the dog and the dog would have better focus with me. But the other thing is, is I, this, I would build this into stuff that I'm already doing. So normally, I've got hours of work on the computer today. I'd be getting, if it takes me 30 minutes for her to settle down, which I don't think it will, but if it does, I'll wait 30. But if it does take 30 minutes, I'd get 30 minutes of the hours of work I'd have to get done done. And so I wouldn't just sit here and watch her and, and wait. I'd get something else done. I'd be sitting right here and I'd be working on it. She is wound up, Jeff. That's for sure. Um, Jeff sent me some really nice videos this weekend. I had a chance to take a look at. Um, so back to um, when we when we're waiting for her to change. Okay. Be efficient. Don't don't necessarily spend all the time here watching it. Do, I, I can figure if you can figure out how to build it into the, the other stuff you're doing. Another missed call. Someone from Minnesota is calling. They must not be on live. Um, so, uh, good morning, KM Cutters. KM Cutters, I think, is new. Welcome, KM Cutters. So, uh, if you, if any of you guys are new, I'm going to give you a quick, uh, I'm going to give you a quick Cliff Notes version. We're into about week four, uh, going into week five with this little puppy Spry. Um, I'm also trying to do some stuff with the older dogs, but we're focusing on Spry and her process for. We started out with place training. We added some recall. We added sit. We're adding some steadiness. Last week we got into some remote sits. Um, I've seen that a lot of people are following along with this. And it's impacting some because I'm seeing pictures and I'm seeing videos and I'm seeing comments and things shared to me, which tells me that's the reason we do this. The other thing I need to touch on is I had a few people um, that, that commented, um, have sent me some questions. I got one late last week prior to us leaving. Um, if you followed along with us, we were pretty busy this weekend. I'm really, by doing this, I love it. It's doing a lot of good positive things for me and for our dogs and I'm hopefully helping some people along the way. What I need to be sure is that everybody understands I'm trying to balance a lot of stuff too between our business, our, my family and then the dog stuff. So I had a couple questions that came in that I didn't get back to within a day or two and it actually took me three days before I commented back to one guy and they weren't real happy with it. They said, you know, you, you're supposed to get back to us a lot quicker than this. Um, I promise you I'm going to get back as quick as I can. Um, the, the, the tough part about this is it's the good part. The more people get involved with it, the more questions, the more stuff, it's going to take me a little bit of time uh, to get back. I want, you to, I want you guys to know that I'm not blowing anybody off. Um, I will get back to you, but it's going to take time. I want, I want more and more people commenting in. I want more and more people sharing uh, some of the success they're having and also some of the things that they're struggling with because that's the point of this. But just be patient with me because I promise you I'm going to get back to you guys. Um, it just takes me time, uh, especially over weekends and stuff. So um, just found this. Jessica is new. Just found this is great. Wish I had found it before spending a bunch of money on my pup training. What kind of placement is that? It's not from Cabela's. We sell them on our website. Jessica, um, dogbonehunter.com. Other ways, you can Google them. It is a Karanda style bed. I think there are advantages to this. We're working on improving it right now, so stay tuned on that. But um, we do offer them through our website. Um, I have seen literally, I don't think hundreds yet, but I have seen close to 100 different people send us pictures of them having place training with their dog. And one person asked me a question this morning or I just had a chance to read it first this morning. I think it was asked over the weekend. But it was talking about an older dog. They had a dog, I think, that was one years old, and they wanted to know. They jumped in on these lives, and they're watching um, what we're doing with Spry. And what they asked me was, can you do this with a one-year-old dog? They, I haven't had a chance to email them back yet. or I don't know if it was an email or a message, but I'm going to get them back, get back to them. Yeah, you can do it with a one-year-old dog. And we have, I've seen it done. We do workshops where people brought dogs um, that were real high strung dogs, not high strung, but a little higher strung as far as breed goes, pointing dogs with a little more energy. Um, and they said, there's no chance that our dog could do that. And we brought the dog in on the spot in front of 25 strangers and we had that dog successfully do it in a matter of five to 10 minutes. Now, was it successful to the point where we could just leave the dog for hours unattended? No, but it was to the point where we had them on the place for minutes without coming off and then we've praised and rewarded and moved on. Now remember when this puppy started place training, Jessica, we did not 
allow her to be on it for hours and hours and expect her to work through all those distractions. It was literally, she jumped off of it for minutes and minutes and minutes on end until we corrected enough for her to understand that perimeter by being the elevated bed that helped us do it. And then we built on it. So you can see right now there's a change that took place with Spry. I jabbered for the majority of it. I, we're probably five minutes into this. Now I can get started. Because if I had started when she was spinning around, flipping, chewing on her tail, barking at me, what would, what would she have associated with that behavior? What she wants to do. She wants to eat. She wants to get going. She says, let's get this show on the road. So I will not reward her for that. So it took a little while. I will reward her for this. Settling down nicely like that, that's a good girl. So now we can get started. So I'm gonna pick her up. Whoop. I'm gonna pick her up. I'm gonna complete the building of the wall here. So any of you guys that are new, you'll the reason I'm building this wall is not to be political. I promise you that. What it is, is my dogs, this dog, has a hard time focusing. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's hard to do. I got a pup in my arms. This little puppy has a very difficult time working through the distractions. My house is a distraction to her. So if I let her go, she'll run all through the house. She'll go over there, she'll torment those dogs. When we first started this out, Jessica, I couldn't get her focus outside of this pen. I think I did the math on it before, it's about eight square feet. I couldn't get her to focus hardly through that. Then I allowed her to do it in this laundry room. I blocked this off from here to here. I blocked off and I got her focus in there. Then I went into the hallway and I closed all the doors and I built a wall across there. And now we had a little hallway of square footage of focus. To last week, we moved into this area, which I tried doing the whole house and I couldn't get her focused. So I just set her down, guys. I'm gonna get my little cheat here. Got a little bit of kibble just in case I need a little extra reinforcement of reward. Uh-oh. So I dropped a little kibble and she found it real quick. Oh, she pushed it under the stove. I better fix that or we're gonna have a major issue. Where'd it go, little girl? I don't know where it went. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. I'm gonna see if I can get her away from it. That might prove to be an issue. So she's wound up now, boy. How am I gonna, come on, sit, sit, no, sit, good, good. I got some attention now. Now, for this guys, I'm gonna spin this around. I'm gonna set it up on our tripod here, give you a little bit better view of what the heck's going on, because, come on, come on, sit. No. No. It's interesting, because this weekend we were at Cabela's, we saw a ton of strangers. Come here, come on, come on. Here's a distraction. How do you fix distractions when dogs get into things? Eliminate the problem, okay? If your dog's chewing the shoes, pick up the shoes. The dog's gonna get distracted by this floor mat. I'm moving the floor mat. Come here. So I'm just working on recall and sit. Sit. And I'm gonna add my remote sit. So Jessica, you're new, whoever else is new. We could not do this last week. We started remote sit. We extended and we worked on it this weekend. I give her a little praise for that. I'm gonna talk about some stuff. Remind me at the end here, guys. I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that happened at Cabela's this weekend that kind of eroded what we were doing, and I had to make sure to not let it be a major issue. So today, in this little session, I want her focus. This is her action. That was her action. You can't quite see it. Come here. Come here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So I'm going to let her kind of get around. She's running around. Come on, come on, come on. Here, here, here. Sit. I bring her in. Oh, you missed it. Ah, uh, 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 sit. Now one thing you're gonna notice, guys, is I have found how important tone is with this puppy. My tone 
It's probably with just about every dog. My tone changes everything about this pup. Good. I don't want to be too hard on her because I can only get so hard. Good girl, come on. She goes down to the other end of the house. I come over here and I'm going to recall her to me. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come here. Sit. Good. Very good. That tail wags. I know she knows that that's praise. Good. Good. Come on. Come on. So I'm going to go back down here. I'm going to let her get to the other side of the room and I'm going to recall her. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Here, 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 here. She runs past me. I come the other way. She runs past me. I come the other way. Find new balance with her. Come on. Here. Here, 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 here. Sit. You can't quite see it. Sit. Sit. Good. Good. Sit. I'm going to give her the traffic cop stop signal again. Now this we did not, I don't think we did this last week. We did it, but we did it in, after we warmed up with a whole bunch of sits and recalls. Good. Good. All right, let's go. Come on. Come on. Here. Come on. Now she's over by that door stopper. That's a big distraction. Remember? I ran into problems with that. Oh, good girl. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. She came off of it, so I didn't even have to call her. So I want to bring her back down here. Come on. Come on. Come on. She's distracted with the with the floor mat, right? I gotta recall her off of it. Come on, come on. Right here. No, 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 no. Come here. Come here. Come on. No. Oh, someone's stuck in the tripod. Come on. Give me. Come here. Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Sit. Good. Now, I think it's real interesting to see how her, her body language is. She gets loose on me. Here, here's another distraction. Remember this one? Jeremy doesn't learn from his mistakes. Put the towel away. Dog can't get the towel. So I think it's real interesting to see her body language, though. When she's not with me, she's very loose. When I get her, when I get her to me, so major issue, right at the end of the hall, she's got that floor mat. Can I call her off of that? That's the question. And then can I learn from my lessons and not leave floor mats out? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. No, 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 no. Come on. So now... something that's more valuable. She'd much rather lay down there and chew on that. So I realized I got a problem. Okay. Fix the problem. Pick the stuff up that creates the issues. Now there's two more floor mats over in my in my back room. You can see she's a hundred miles an hour right now. Sit. Sit. Good. But when my tone, ah, 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 ah. but when my tone of voice comes into this, and I feel like I gotta dial her back in, can I do it? That's the question. Because a lot of people say my dog does really good in a certain spot, but then I take him outside, usually out in the field. All right, come here. I don't want to make her sit still too long. Come here, good girl. Good girl. Sit, because she's likely to fail on me. But a lot of people then take him outside and they struggle because there's too much distraction. So what I'm trying to do is figure out at what level of distraction can I work through with this puppy. That's, the, that's what we're searching for all the time. So let me put this up. So that is our recall for this morning. We got some sit work. I'm gonna bring this tripod up a little bit. Now we've got her big bowl of food. So here's the big reward. So I'm gonna set her down. You can see how quickly she goes to sit now. We don't, I don't, it used to be a real job to do that. Now, today what I might do, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna leave her on sit. I'm gonna walk past, I totally forgot something. We went super techie this weekend. We got these ear things. Uh, so hold on. This is a great test for her because I'm completely not paying attention to her. 
she is completely having to work through it. So I'm going to turn this on. Let's see if it works. So I'm going to put these things in. Just do me a favor and act, let me know if you can hear this any better. If the, if the volume did anything different, sit. Because I just put this little mic thing in, this little wireless mic number. And I don't know if it works or not. It worked for Cabela's. I don't know if I'm using it right now. But so added a lot of just a lot of stuff to this right now with moving around with her. So if someone can make a comment if the audio if the if it sounds louder or not. I'll look in a minute. If not, I'll figure out how to do it. Working good. Did it change at all, guys? So I put these things in. Sounds good right now. Better. Okay. So I think that my ah, oh big mistake on my part. And I'm not going to correct her for that because she didn't do anything wrong. I pushed it so far and didn't send her. I set up for for a problem. Sit. Sit. I'm really asking her a lot there on that last one. She just about did it right. I mean, it wasn't it wasn't her fault. It was my fault that I dallied too, dilly dally too long. Well, this is where these distractions come in. You know, I'm fooling around with earplugs and microphones when I should be training a dog. So that's the hard part about, that's the added element to this. It makes it tougher on her probably that you guys probably shouldn't see nearly as, as often. But I gotta work through it. Soda keeps calling. St. Cloud's gonna leave some voicemails. So let me line her up. Sprout. And I said her, she's a lot of enthusiasm. Well, it's Monday morning, can't you? Phone's really ringing, lots of messages, lots of texts. So I line her up and I send her on that one. She did well. She took off nicely. I'm going to go down and I'm going to get her. I'm going to bring her back. I'm going to set her back up. Now, the one thing I did here, guys... I'm going to add a remote to this. The one thing I did differently too is I put the floor mat back down. I don't want to have to pick up the floor mat for the rest of my life, but I realized that the floor mat creates a distraction with her at this point. So I'm going to put the floor mat down and the bowl of food's next to it and she's, going to, she's not going to pay attention to the floor mat when the food is there. So I'm slowly Introducing the idea of we can we got to work around some of these distractions. This is more valuable than the floor mat to her, so that's good. I'm just trying to imprint some stuff. Sprite. That time she got up and she broke a little early on me. I'll ask her to do a better job of it on this next one. So my me this morning session has been pretty sloppy. We're still back around 30 people. You guys are diehards. Um, do me a favor, we got to share this and grow it to anyone who's got a dog that we think can help them. But, so, this morning session has been very sloppy, in my, in my feelings. I think it's been a pretty rough session. And I think 90% or more of that can be attributed to me. I just haven't been very sharp. I haven't been very crisp. I haven't been very consistent. I haven't, I haven't made it very easy for her to succeed in this lesson. I haven't paid much attention to her, to be honest with you. I've been more worried about whether or not the audio works. I've been more worried about introducing people to it that haven't been to it before. That's all stuff that I have to juggle, but I have to realize I need to stay focused on her, too. So... Taylor, go lay down. So, not only, I think it's a good example of not only are there a lot of distractions for the dog that she has to work through, there's a lot of distractions for me as a handler. 
There's a lot of distractions for you as a trainer. And we have to work through them as, as well or maybe better than her if we want success. So I'm going to line her up. Sprout. I was much better that time. Consequently, she was much better that time. So who, who drives this boat or this train or whatever you want to call it? Who drives the ship? We do as the trainer. So we have to do a good job of it. 90% of the time or more, I think when there's issues, it's usually me. It's not so much my dog. So I'm going to let her eat. I'm going to put her on place. And you're going to say, wow, that wasn't, that wasn't a lot compared to what it was the last couple days. And it's really not. Um, I didn't add a whole lot today. Uh, but I, what I did is I came off of I came off of a trip to Minnesota. So I came off of doing this in a different spot for three days in a row, which were um, huge changes as far as our dog's routines. You've got to think about it. I talk about how much these dogs are um, habit forming and how they perform better in spots just based on location. Well, for the last three days, we were in a different state, in a different house, in a different, um, totally different world when we were at Cabela's. We met lots and lots of new people. So we had all these new things going on. And I asked this little dog to be consistent through all of that. And I thought she did a pretty nice job. So now when we come back, to the same old spot, the same old place that we are now, I'm asking her to jump right back in where we left. Now, if we had spent the whole weekend here, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, now Monday, I probably would have added more to today's lesson. Um, I probably would have challenged her a little more. She didn't do that great as it was. Part of it was me, admittedly. So... Um, you can hear your voice the same now when you are not close to the phone. So I'm assuming that you mean the mic is picking up. Can you get the three-piece lead set from the Wild Rose website? Yes, Jeff, that is in the uh, um, Wild Rose Trading Company store. Um, so let me go back. I'm going to start looking through some of these pictures or questions. As soon as she uh, she's finished up here, come on. I recalled her to me. Good girl. She had a bed that was tempting to her. I put her up on her place. Place. Good. I'll spin it around and let's see how quickly. Let's see how quickly she settles in now. Um, then I'm going to start going through some of these uh, these questions, and I want to talk a little bit about this weekend um, because this weekend we exposed this puppy to a lot of stuff, and we potentially had a issue. We potentially had a problem come up with place, so I want to talk about that. And then we had uh, another issue that is the same thing that comes up at Whitetails Unlimited dinners. Um, it was this morning or this weekend. It was a question of um, nipping and biting, nipping and biting. That little puppy started nipping and biting, and, and the only thing that changed was the people in the equation. So I'm going to explain that a little bit. So let me go through some of these questions. Getting a tripod delivered today, that's good, Jeff. You're going to be able to have free hands, which will be good. That makes it a lot easier. That's why I've gone to it. Um, so I'll be interested to see how that goes for you. Um, April, appreciate those comments so much. We'll keep them in mind when I do this morning session with Tiffany and Ozzy. So April has been sending her progress with hold conditioning, which is great. Um, I think a couple things I'm going to make a point of saying is i um, trying to think which one is which now. Uh, Ozzy is the one I think that has a little, I think, visually watching, has a little bit less confidence. Um, you know, unless I'm wrong, April, if I'm wrong, re reverse me. But otherwise, I'm, I'm going to, I think Ozzy had the longer hair and was a little bit more, um, just didn't settle in. And he's got a, he's got a, what's clear to me is he's got an avoidance behavior. He wants to turn his head out. He's looking for an escape. Um, so with him, easy, 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 easy fix for that is I think you got to shorten up 
I think you got to shorten up those those repetitions. I think you got to focus on getting Ozzy to give you good eyes, and I think that less touching all the way around with all of them. I think the touching is important early on, but now what you need to do is start getting them to be comfortable with that thing in their mouth without your physical touch of support. So the only touching I want you to do is under the chin, and it's going to reinforce lifting up and holding. And then I want you to be able to take your hand off of them and have it right there to be able to put it back under the chin to correct if they need to. But I want you to shorten those reps up, reps up and make them good. Make them very good. And when they're very good, end it. Um, some of the times I think you get a little long with them and the dogs slip up. And then there's two, three corrections before we get out of it. And I think early on like that, you got to get out of it quicker with a win. Somebody's a little feisty here, so I guess we won't get a reward for a little bit. Good morning, Jason. Jeff, uh, she was wound up. That was when we were way back in. Um, Tiffin took 20 minutes to settle for dinner last night, 15 minutes this morning. My cots are due to arrive tomorrow, so that'll put an interesting twist into things. Tiffin stopped screaming for her best. Yep, you're going to have major changes coming, April, but uh, take it one step at a time. Um, Jessica, we talked with. She welcomed a new person. Nicole joined in. Dennis, no socks today. Boy, you guys are... De pay attention to details. I did not wear socks, and consequently, they did not... They were not mismatched. So, uh, I have to check back in at work, but where do you get the three-piece leashes and whistle? Uh, the whistles we're going to have available are, um, through our website here shortly. We've got, we've got them coming, Mike. Uh, the three-piece leads are a Wild Rose um, lead that we get from Wild Rose. Uh, UK Labs is the website. Not sure what she's into her here this morning. Um, so this was when I asked the questions about sound. I put this little mic deal on. I hope it's working. Um, audio sounds good, but nothing crazy different. I don't think it's going to sound... Uh, what I, My hopes is that it's like a remote mic, guys. So if I, if I back away from the camera... The other thing is, is if I turn the camera in the past, the volume significantly changed. So... Um, if, I don't know if that worked, I, this way, I guess, if I swung it around like that, the thing changed. So I'm hoping that, um, this little mic thing is allowing me to, uh, did you hold the button down to turn it on? She will talk to you. No, I didn't hear anybody talk to me. Um, stays the same volume no matter where you are. Sounds loud and clear when you're down by the food. So I'm, I'm assuming it's working. I'm assuming it's working. Uh, Brooke Burling joined in. Welcome, Brooke. Um, yeah, it's picking up. You used to get soft as you walked away. So I think it's working. Hello, thanks for the videos. Thank you, Anthony. Um, these live sessions have been so incredibly helpful. We just found this, so I'm watching the old live videos trying to catch up. We have a seven-week-old fox run. So you, Jamie, you're in good shape. Um, the thing about the videos are we started when this puppy was seven and a half weeks. So fast forward four weeks and you're going to look probably something like this. Um, so stay consistent, Jamie. Don't, don't feel rushed. I think one of the best things I got across this weekend at the Cabela's, I hope, one of the things I got across was the idea of patience. Um, I think that needs to be kind of a, uh, it needs to be a universal message when, whenever I talk about anything patience. Um, the people that are new to this, a lot of the question, a lot of times questions come up about time. You guys, a lot of people want to know, I don't get that. I don't get that question nearly as often from our hardcore 30 here. Um, when I say the hardcore 30, you've got 30 consistent followers that I think are getting a ton out of it. So my hope is to grow that number. But we, we start, we get a lot of questions that ask about time. Ah, 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 ah. You'll, you'll hear my tone get a little bit going there. Did you notice what she did? Reached out and she's frustrated. She said, the hell with it. I'm going to chew on the corner. Not on my watch. Not going to happen now. That's where setting these dogs up for success. Ah, 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 ah. That's where setting these dogs up for success will help. If I don't want a dog, if I can't pay attention and I don't want a dog chewing on something, what's the easiest way to fix that problem? Don't form a habit today. You've got to train out later. How should you chew on the wall now? So eventually, I want to be able to put the dogs next to the wall and have them have a 
an understanding that the habit is not there to chew on stuff. That's why we're not giving anything to these dogs to chew on. So brings up a brings me to a point about this weekend. Um, my puppy had a tendency. She put her paw off of the bed three or four times and had one foot resting on the ground. And if you watched our lives, you saw I missed it a few times because I had did not have good feel with her. I had other people call, let me know and say, hey, look at your pup. And I corrected. I will not allow that slippery slope to start. Because as soon as a paw touches the ground and, I don't, and I'm not there to correct it quickly, it becomes somewhat okay. And it becomes a gray area for the pups. That's why we're using the elevated bed. Can't allow it to happen. So that was one slippery thing that we, we kind of got out of this weekend at Cabela's. The other thing was the nipping and biting. And I run into it with new crowds everywhere we go. This little puppy will chew and nip and bite at anyone who comes up and allows her to do it. And at times she even did it to me. So what it told me was she had some confidence going, hell, I can get away with this. These people are new. I can get away with it. And when the old man here that I know so well tries petting me once in a while, I might even try it on him and see what he does. Trust me, it wasn't happening. So I trained people more than I did the dog this weekend. I trained people that when that puppy starts nipping and biting on you, what's your fix? Take step back and do not give the pup any attention whatsoever. She, she does not earn any praise, any reward, any attention whatsoever if she's doing stuff she's not supposed to do. And the reason was is she was testing. She was testing every... Ah, 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 ah. So I don't think it's a coincidence that we come off of a weekend of partying at Cabela's with a puppy that has a tendency to really push limits right now. I mean, how often did you guys see her spin around in her bed uncontrollably to the point where she fell off of it? Prior to this weekend, not very much. But this weekend, she was exposed to some stuff and we got through it. And now what I need to do is make sure that we bring her, we reel her back in with, because we, we pushed it a little bit. We pushed the uh, limits because we just physically had to where we were. But we're going to make sure that we turn those into positive results. I'm not going to let her come home and all of a sudden have bad habits. We're going to fix them. Um, and, and while we were there, we tried to avoid them the best we could. And I thought the people that were at Cabela's did a great job. Um, both the Cabela's people, uh, Jordan Wakefield was our, our guy that set it up. He did a tremendous job. But the people that came and watched it did phenomenal. Um, so I think we, I hope that a lot of people that were there got something out of that. Nine-week pup is constantly wanting to bite my hand, so it led right into this when we're working together. Any solutions to this? Or is it because she's so young? I think if the people, if, I think people say, oh, she's just a puppy. She'll grow out of it. Well, here's the deal. Habits form when they're puppies and they stick for life. So we do not want to train something in that is going to be a habit that sticks. I think nipping and biting is a test, Trent, testing you. I end it quickly. The way I end it quickly, if a pup is going to nip and bite at me, just like mom. So I reach in and guess who's not nipping or biting at my hand? It's right there. The reason she's not is because I was just pretty firm with her and I gave her some solid tone and I got some serious change out of her. When she was feisty and all rambunctious and feeling pretty bold, I bet you she would have took a nip at me and I'd have picked her right up like this and said, no, 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 no. Does that hurt her? Her tail's wagging. She goes, this isn't so bad. But she's definitely going to understand who the leader is, just like her mom would. So Trent, when your dog nips and bites at you, be very short, quick, and firm. Pick her up by the scruff of the neck with a growly no. Look at that's a complete submission. I'm sorry. Pick her up with a growly no. Give her a little shake. And set her back down and watch what your pup does. If she comes back at you even harder, then pick her up a little bit harder. Give her a little more of a shake and a growl, a little more of a growl. There's a nice change after a correction. So now the thing is, Trent, you can get that to happen with you but the pup will nip and chew on everybody else in the family. Because until they establish themselves where you established yourself, that puppy will test in the pack to figure out who she can, who's above her and who's below her. Any advice for a house trained dog who now goes on the new large area rug and carpet as a, at a friend's house? Any advice for a house trained dog who now goes on the new large area rug and carpet at a friend's house? When you say go, Jessica, do you mean she's having accidents? Um, your audio just changed when you flipped the camera. Let me know if my audio is all right or not. But question is, is 
it a issue with when you say go having accidents because um that that would be different than maybe just putting their feet on it or or going on it. Like I can use a place I can use a rug as a placemat. I can use these as placemats. I do it with older dogs. I can transfer the the habit from this to that. I can't do it with a puppy because it's too too tempting and it's too easy for them to make mistakes. But clarify what you mean by that one, Jessica, and I'll answer it. Started a little retrieve with Thor this weekend. He is a machine. I am jealous, Jeff. I have to watch how long I do it with him though. I think he will need a longer hallway as well. He will go for anything. I throw for him and bring it back. I can stick with a small... Can I stick with a small bumper? He holds it pretty good. Yeah. The dog will dictate what you can go to next with the retrieving. If he's retrieving really strong and not struggling, I, that's when I would start introducing that antler shape uh, using that training dummy. But puppy bumpers, canvas bumpers, whatever you want, as long as you're not running into problems with it. Now... Um, you're right when you say you have to be careful how long. I, if you got a little pup at that age, Jeff, I'd make two or three good retrieves in a row and then I'd be done. And I might do it every other day, maybe every third day because I don't want to burn them out. I don't want, it, I don't want them to get to the point where they go, this isn't that fun anymore. I want them to end with the idea of I want to do that again. Um, let's see. It's hard for my dog, Buck. He's 13 weeks. I train him one hour a day. But what do... But I don't allow my wife stuff. So how? Okay, it's hard for my dog Buck. Is 13 weeks. I train him one hour a day. But what I don't allow my wife allows stuff. So how do you fix that? Two things: hour a day for a 13 week old pup's too long. Um, I I think you can get away with a 13 week old puppy. I think you can probably get away with five minutes at a time of good focused. Uh, Good focus, something, whatever it is you're working on. Now, reinforce it all day long, but one hour sessions, if that's what you mean, is too long. Um, so then the next thing is, it sounds like what you're training into your dog, your wife's wanting to train out. So Chris, my answer to that is, not only do you have to train your dog, but you'll have to train the, your wife to be on the same page because consistency is the important part here. Repetition and consistency form habits, that's all dog training is. If you do something, Chris, and everyone else does the opposite, you are going one step forward, one step back, one step forward, one step back. Once You'll never get anywhere. So you're going to have to change the consistency in your house before you're going to be able to make much progress uh, with Buck. Uh, the nipping problem you addressed is huge help, Jeremy. Still working with Thor on that with the entire family. That comes from just a dominance thing. That comes with establishing where the pup is in the pack and that has to happen first and foremost. So one of the things, Jeff, one of the things, uh, who, who was the last person who had the nipping problem? Trent, I think. Um, one of the things with that is, it, before I work on recall sits, remote sits, feeding times, any of that stuff, establishing the pack is constant and ongoing. So we have to have that. Because it's gonna help, because once you have that, it's gonna help you with all your other training. Um, what age will the pups learn their name? Um, I, I don't know if they, I don't know what age it, it really is. The one thing about their name, preceding commands with their name helps that. Um, the idea that their name is used so often, it, it it's they learn it quickly. There's, it's funny because they learn a lot of things real quick and we can't figure out why they understand that so quickly. Some of it has to do with tone. Uh, the word no seems to be lear learned really quickly. Dogs seem to pick up on no pretty quick. How often do you use it? You use it pretty often. So what does it go back to? What is training? Forming habits by repetition and consistency. Well, when you're consistent and you use certain things over and over and over again, that's consistency. So that forms habits. So the word no gets used a lot in correction, you know, in a correction. So the pup's name, I think the more often you use it, the quicker they'll learn it. I think you use it to precede things that you're trying to get out of them. Just ordered our cot and the Fundamentals Puppy DVD. We'll be shipping it this week, hopefully, Kaylee. Cot, depending on what size cot, we have cots on a back order right now, but I have them, should have them this week. Um, so if you guys, uh, everyone up until the end of last week, uh, we had a couple that were back ordered I had sent emails to. So I think we did see some come through this weekend. Um, those will hopefully go out this week. So be uh, patient with us. We'll get them out of ASAP. Yes, accidents. So apparently that dog has found that that is, it thinks that's the spot to go. Um, 
That's why when we housebreak a dog, as soon as we have an accident in the crate, as soon as we have an accident in a certain spot, they have a tendency to think that that's acceptable and they go there again. Um, I train this little dog to go to the bathroom off of my lawn that I mow. I have to pick up that much less in the summertime. So when she's little, I bring her to a spot and I get her in a habit of going in a certain spot and I tell her to hurry up in that spot. So Jessica, how do you fix that? Well, it goes back to controlling what goes in and what comes out and, and having the idea of um, control over the dog and understanding where the dog is. If, if the dog is allowed to free roam the house, you will run into a lot of problems. So if the dog free roams the house and thinks that there's a bathroom there, it's gonna use it. So take away that, Allow, take away for them to fail. So that goes back to my dog's place training. What I don't wanna do is I don't want a dog to get in the habit of going to the bathroom on their place. That's part of why I don't have a huge place here. They don't wanna mess where they sleep. So um, when you get dogs to start having accidents on their beds, because you don't let them out often enough, that's why the accident happened. It's not because the dog wanted to do anything to make you mad. So your dog, we need, you need, that dog that's having an issue, change its frequency of going outside so it doesn't have to have, so it doesn't have to go inside. Something's not, something's not clicking as far as the schedule with that dog, of when it's on its bathroom schedule and where it's allowed to be without supervision. So if it's allowed to walk around the house without super, don't take, take that away, take that freedom away and then you won't be on the bed, it won't be on that rug to have the accident. So this pup might have to go pretty quick, that's probably why she's getting a little antsy. Um, you have to read that. There's been a couple times, Jessica, over the last few weeks where I've sat here and I go, dog's not settling in. I don't think it's just her spitefulness. I think she's gotta go to the bathroom. Took her outside, she went to the bathroom, came back in, fell asleep. So that comes in reading it, reading the dog. Great, thanks for the retriever training advice. Thought you might be, thought you might be jealous, I am. I am, because if anyone knows, we were pulling pulling nails. I don't know how the saying goes. It was not pretty, what I was trying to do with that dog last week. Um, let's see. Chrisingo says, thank you. I know you already answered it, but where'd you get that bed? Couldn't find it? Um, I'm gonna beat everybody. Usually the, our faithful 30 usually jump on it. Uh, dogbonehunter.com under apparel and gear is where we sell them through our website. Um, otherwise, you can Google them, Trent. I think there's a million of them out there. I think some have more advantages than others as far as their performance, durability. Um, I've seen that already with a lot of folks that have sent some pictures to us. They bought some a different style of bed, and the dog has had its way with it. Um, so we're working on improving this one currently. Um, stay tuned. That's all I can say on that one. Uh, Jessica, thank you. Really appreciate it. Thank you, Jessica, and welcome. Feel free to... Uh, Follow us. I think if you put a thing on, you can get alerts. I struggle with um, I struggle with scheduled times to do these because I fit them in when I can get them in. Um, we're working on something new. I'm gonna try to do it this week. I gotta figure out the techie part of it. We're gonna try to get someone to call. We're gonna have somebody call in because the calls that I've gotten since I started doing lives are through the roof, and the value of a live call is so much greater. That's a dog playing DJ over there. Softening up the bed. The value of the dogs. What are you doing? The value of the calling is we get a real nice exchange, and there's just so many things that come up that you just don't get with a question typed in. So we're gonna, I'm working on the tech part of that. We'll figure out how to do it this week, guys. But asked about it last week. Enough people said let's try it, so we're gonna do it. So if you guys keep following along, you guys keep. Um, getting something out of this and letting me know that you're getting something out of it, we're gonna keep doing it, I promise you. We're gonna to try to make them better. So if you've got ideas, that ways that we can make this better, share them with me too. Pre again, I appreciate your patience with it. Um, if, you send me a, if you send me a message, if you send me an email, if you send me, a, give me a call, I'll get back to you. I just said, I bet you I got three voicemails right now of people with dog stuff. So it takes me a little bit of time to get back, but I promise I will. Um, yes, decals would be awesome. We've got some decals, Stephanie. Um, I've sent a few out. Some of them went out to people um, that shared it. I, uh, last week, we had a bunch of people that shared it. I said, the hell with it. I'm going to give you guys something. We're working hard. So I sent decals to several people that sent me their uh, addresses. Not everybody sent me their address. So um, hat, Emily, hat. I've got a hat that we're going to be coming out with. This Cromer that I'm wearing right now. We're going to be... Um, bringing that and it's going to be logo dog bone. So stay tuned for that as well. Um, 
We're in the process of trying to improve your experience on our website. So we're redeveloping uh, our, our e-commerce store. I really sound like a techie nerd, but uh, I'm not doing any of it. Uh, we are finding people that are good at that stuff to do it for us. Um, but so we're working on all that stuff. Um, appreciate you guys support. I appreciate you guys following along. Let's keep going with this. Let's continue to get um, take steps. My, my goal will be the next live with her to have myself prepared better. Um, today's, I, you guys know I like to rate these. I give it a give it a seven, maybe a six and a half. I, I don't know if I give it a seven. Uh, the dog, I give an eight. My performance, a five, maybe four. And the reason was is I just wasn't prepared. I wasn't prepared and I didn't have a really good plan. And, um, it's Monday morning and I'm struggling to get caught up on stuff, but I want to I want to make a point of Monday to me needs to be an opportunity. Okay, we've got a long week ahead of us to get a lot of good stuff done. So I'm going to look at Monday like that rather than saying, man, I can't wait till Friday because I won't get much done if my attitude is I can't wait till Friday. I'm looking, f I'm excited that it's Monday because I feel like that's a whole week of good stuff that I got to get done this week with these dogs and with our business and all that other stuff. So I want you guys to look at it that way too. Our, we will feed off of each other's energy. The dogs will feed off of our energy. So you guys have a great day. I will be back this evening. Uh, it's a bachelor pad. Steph's out of town. Um, kids are, are kids are both gone, I think, tonight. So it's me and the dogs. Really boring life I live. But uh, you guys will be with me. So we'll talk to you guys soon. Have a great day.